I mean, part of what we did with the, the, the graphic design of the campaign was to um, create a brand that people could sort of plug into. And so we provided you know, all of our design assets we put online for people to play around with. Um, and so we tried to create a, a brand that was interesting and fun and polished in a, in a sort of professional sense because so many times the politics and, and you know, nonprofit space it's very boring, but, you know, it's just a very old and stale design. So we tried to take that to a different level and have a little edge to it, um, and then encourage people to play with it. So the, my office at headquarters, I had all my posters were, um, you know, underground, you know, unauthorized uh, posters all over my walls. And, um, when we found uh, ones that were especially inspiring, uh, we would try to work with the person. So um, the best case, obviously, is uh, Shepard Ferry, um, who, uh, who, who made a couple of posters on his own, and then so we called him and said, "Hey, why don't you make one for us?" And then we were able to take that and you know put it up on college campuses and, and uh, um, you know give it to people uh, you know in exchange for a donation and things like that. And that inspired that in part helped inspire more people to take a cut of things. And so uh, we wound up uh, you know fashion designers and, and you know graphic artists, all these people wanted to uh, participate, and we tried to encourage it. And we would highlight the best ones. It was part of a two-way conversation we had with our supporters all the time. Uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to to you know, encourage that kind of stuff and show the best results of it. Yeah, I have one more question. Uh, you have also used the uh, the iPhone application, which was sending the location-based information and news. And uh, I wanted to ask, uh, was it successful in relation to other channels which you were using, uh, like Facebook or uh, or, or other <coughs> other networks? Uh, was it really worth to, to, to create this application, and, and how was the, the conversion of the, of the people receiving the messages <coughs> to, through this platform uh, in relation to, to, to other channels? Well, it's a good question. We, so we made an application for the iPhone where people could um, get local specific news based on where they were, but also uh, we would encourage them to telephone the, the people who in their address book who were in battleground states where their votes were, were actually important for us. Um, the question of, is whether it was worth it. Um, yes, because we didn't even make it. We uh, had volunteers uh, do it for us. And so you know, to the point about whether it's underground art or uh, underground software development or people uh, with any kind of special skills, not just filmmaking or, or design, but uh, you know, uh, software and code and, and these kind of things, um, we worked with folks who, who had good intentions and wanted to do something, and, and they made it. So we actually didn't spend any time or money on that one. So then, yes, it was worth it. And people used it. It was, it was, pretty, it was a pretty good application. Okay. You, you can find, like, billion from the short videos in the web. So how, how you made people to watch your videos? Uh, well, by producing good content. I mean, it goes back to, like, campaigns are typically in the business of content that's, like, advertising. So they, they want you to be watching your favorite TV show and then they interrupt you and shove the message down your throat. Um, we tried to set a standard for content that was higher than that and that, um, you know, to make uh, films and, and short uh, pieces that, you know, that you would want to come back to, that you would actually want to, if you were an advertiser, you would want to advertise in our content because so many people were watching it and it was good and polished. Um, so, you know, by creating that habit for people and, and creating a destination and, and if you move people once they, they, they keep coming back and it builds that relationship so um, the quality was pretty important okay. yeah I mean if you you know if you waste people's time then they don't they don't, <laughs> they don't come back also when, what kind of website you use to like, communicate with people you mean, like Facebook or, or YouTube is one is but what are others yeah I mean the distribution is important you got to make sure <laughs> You know, when we would put a video up, we would get it in YouTube, we would get it on the other video sharing platforms, we would put it in Facebook, we would put it on our website to get it as wide as possible, as easily accessible as possible. Like, there's no, uh, you know, when you're doing something for a cause, there's no sort of points for exclusivity or, you know, the pointing people to one place or another to try to get everything out as much as possible. How much do you think the whole, I mean, this change, I mean, and having what happens on the internet and YouTube and all that, how, how much you think it was because of the new generation, the people used to the, all this new uh, internet media, and how much it was simply generated because people were so pissed off with George W? Uh, a little bit of both, probably. Uh, I think that, you know, it's hard to know how much of 
YouTube and face, you know, our website and things like that weren't um, just for the kids, right? And so we tried to um, make these places valuable for everybody. And um, what we saw in terms of people watching our videos, but also people coming to our website and, and you know making phone calls and planning events and things like that, was that it looked like a cross section of our supporters. So it was the most motivated of all the different groups of the people who supported Obama who came because it was just. The best, the easiest way to access things. So, you know, my mom, who is 65, like learned how to, you know, watch YouTube videos, you know, because of the because of the campaign. There were people who, um, you know, would tell us that their their parents or their grandparents asked them to give set up an email address for them for the first time because they read in the newspaper that Barack Obama sends email to his supporters and they wanted to to know about it. So, uh, by making it very very clear that, you know. The, the web stuff was the easiest way to find out about the campaign, to get involved, to get the rich, you know, sort of behind the scenes um, look and, and have a real relationship. That motivated people to, to come and figure it out, even if they weren't familiar with tools or YouTube or, or anything. You said that the aim of your campaign was to organize so called army who would work for Barack Obama and his idea. Could you tell, and create a new structure, structure who would work for him? Could you tell how many events was created, but structure who who, uh, who had exist before the campaign, like uh, party bureaus and this <coughs> and internet only, and they used internet only to uh, invite more people to work for him, and how many events were created uh, for structures which involved in internet that they became after, during the campaign the, the new things yeah. um, we had a one of the features on the website is events that people can plan on their own sort of a like e-bike kind of thing um, and uh, there were more than 200,000 events that were planned we only knew about our organization only knew about five percent of them and the rest were started by regular people now in the, in the US the, the, the party structure is actually very very weak um, most states don't even have one office in the whole state for the party. Uh, and so there isn't this um, lively grassroots you know, organization in, in most places. So um, by, by putting these utilities out there, the tools for people to do their support, the content, it, it was, people gravitated towards it. So you know, the different unions have their own little programs and you know, um, different uh, uh, party organizations or independent groups and things like that that we just sort of created a, a public utility uh, for these people, and it, they came like a magnet if they were interested in Obama. And so by providing those tools and the content and the story of, of how it all fits together, we created this new organization from different pieces of other organizations, but also from millions of people like who had never done anything before. And like right now, there's we had four million people donate to the campaign. That like Not that many people have ever donated given money, you know, to a politician or any kind of political organization before.